President Uhuru Kenyatta has rallied African nations to accelerate their efforts aimed at attaining greater food security on the continent. Now, the President says Kenya is committed to transforming its food systems by re-engineering the country's agriculture to leverage more on its large and vibrant youth population. He called on African leaders to prioritize initiatives that will cause inclusive agricultural transformation. Well, joining us now to give us uh, her insights into Africa's agriculture sector is Dr. Agnes Kalibata. She's the president of the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa. Great to have you on the show with us today, Doctor. Now, certainly this year's status report from AGRA highlighted the fact that the region has made some impressive progress since 2000 uh, when it comes to the agricultural sector. But of course, African food systems still remain pretty fragile. So give us a sense of why we need to change our food systems approach in Africa if we want to end hunger. Thank you, thank you for having me. So one reason why we would change our food system definitely is the fact that the current food systems are not delivering an end to hunger, that's number one. Number two, we still have uh, huge burdens of health coming from malnutrition, but now also from obesity, which if we invested right in food systems, if we invested in the right food, we wouldn't do. Number three, our food system is now, our food is, the way we produce food is actually impacting the environment. So there's the whole idea of the true cost of food to our health, to our environment, but also to entrenching poverty is something we need to deal with. And if the current food system is not delivering it, then we must change our food systems. That's really the idea behind changing our food system. Mm. Now, of course, uh, uh, we can't ignore the fact that COVID-19, uh, that added another complex layer to uh, other food security threats that Africa is facing, such as climate change and, of course, economic slowdowns and downturns. How much of a setback and an opportunity has this pandemic been? And what are some of the key pathways uh, to agricultural recovery post-pandemic? So a setback this pandemic has been huge. Uh, to, to the economy of most nations, nearly all nations around the world, but uh, a lot to African nations. In terms of the opportunity, I think it has created a sense of urgency across the world, helping people recognize that irrespective of where in the world, we have weaknesses in our systems, in our food system. There are so many vulnerable people that are only one small shock away from the wrong meal or absence of a meal completely. So the pandemic has woken us to the fact that we need to double down and if, start investing in our food systems. And in terms of pathways, there are a few things that we definitely must do. Ensuring that we are increasing productivity on this continent using technologies, um, good seed, uh, good use of fertilizers so that farmers can increase productivity. Ensuring that farmers have access to finance, but also taking advantage of technology of, of the digital technology to reach farmers with or without um, COVID, we now have an opportunity to reach so many more farmers using the telephone, using digital systems that are now available to be able to take them services they would usually have not, would not have had. So there are a number of pathways, but I think the most critical is that we take advantage of the technological uh, opportunities that sit amidst us to build resilience, mm. to ensure we are building resilience to climate change, but also to things like COVID-19. Mm. And certainly at this year's AGRA Summit, there were a lot of new uh, approaches discussed, including an African approach. So tell us why the AGRF uh, 2000, uh, 2021 uh, Summit is critical for Africa's agriculture going forward. So AGRF is always critical to Africa's agriculture because we use it as an opportunity to bring uh, policymakers. Yesterday we had about eight heads of state. We use it to bring private sector so to talk about the, the intersection between policy, uh, in investments, and, and really action uh, so that we can be able to deliver. This year, what makes a difference this year is that we are now looking at food from not an ending hunger perspective only, but we are looking at it from the nexus, the opportunity of being at crossroads. We are at crossroads from an environment perspective. We are at crossroads from a health perspective. This is the one in a lifetime opportunity for Africa to think about how it wants to really build its food system. And it's two weeks away from the food system summit. So we wanted to come together as Africa 
and think through some of the things that we think are most critical and most important to our continent that we, is part of showing up in the next two weeks in New York. So yes, it was an opportunity to really rally our effort, but also ensure that every African business politician understands the value and the essence of transforming our food system. Mm, quite right. Well, many thanks, Doctor, for joining us on the show today and for those great insights. That, of course, is Dr. Agnes Kalibata. She is the president of the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa.